Hi friends, welcome to Gallant IAS. This is Let's Score 120 Plus in Prelims 2021 series. Here we will be discussing a question and based on that we will learn some core facts and concepts which will help your prelims preparation. And the question for today is, with reference to the cultural and educational rights of minorities, consider the following statements. Statement number one, only religious and linguistic minorities have the right to establish and administer education institutions. Two, only religious and linguistic minorities have the right to preserve their distinct language, script or culture. So these are regarding Article 29 and Article 30 of the Constitution. See Article 29 says that any section of the citizens have the right to preserve their distinct language, script or culture. So please note on the term any section of the citizens. Okay. So Supreme Court held that this is not only really confined to minorities, even majorities have the right to preserve their distinctive language, scriptural culture. So this is not confined to linguistic or religious minorities. That is, any section of the citizens under our, in our country can have the right to protect the language, script or culture. Fine. So statement number two says that only religious and linguistic minorities have the right to preserve. No any section any citizens of our country has that right okay so statement number two is wrong but see regarding statement number one that comes under article 30 of the constitution says that all minorities have the right to establish educational institutions of their choice that refers to only to religious and linguistic minorities this comes under article 30. So article 29 says that any section of citizens can preserve the language, script or culture. Article 30 says that minorities have the right to establish education institutions. And here minority means religious and linguistic minorities only. So one is right, two is wrong. So the answer becomes option A that is one only. Thank you for watching.